start a business? And he's like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And the Let's rest is it. history. And then here we are. How many years later? <laughs> well, hello, <laughs> sir. Have you I never get to work with you. It's this great is awesome. It's uh, wonderful oh, to be here. Um, you are so involved in the Joan Rivers collection. We loved sure. her so, so, so much. Oh, and she loved you so much. And, that and, as you know. And, and this story, yeah. or the backstory, of uh, these Russian-inspired egg ornaments. Amazing. Well, why don't you share? Sure, so, so if you're not familiar with the famous Russian eggs that we've been doing now for, oh, 14 years. We started this in 2003. Joan had a love of Russian art, Russian furniture, Russian objects, and was, coincidentally, one of the world's great collectors of actual Fabergé objects and pieces and picture frames and cigarette boxes. Her collection was actually featured in the Museum of Modern Art, in the Muse uh, Metropolitan Museum in New York, actually taken to the Hermitage in St. Petersburg and wow. exhibited with the Forbes' collection. So Joan and I <laughs> spent time at the Hermitage, literally in the storage rooms, touching Fabergé objects, handling objects. So when it came time to really start designing our own, she was the expert. She yeah. knew what she was doing. So this is a series that we do every few years. It's a set of 12. They're actually about the size of an actual hen's egg, if you're trying to get a reference of size. Okay. So it's a dozen eggs, which is cute. <laughs> but we do them, and they're extremely elaborate. You have to keep in mind what you're looking at is hand-blown glass, hand-enameled, hand-crystal set, everything that you see, the little things in the clover egg you're seeing, the little veins on the clovers, that's done with a brush that is so tiny, it's like three hairs. It's amazing. So all hand work. They're hallmarked for the year 2017, and we, we do them when we do 12 designs that we really love. So this collection is, this. is making its debut. And by the way, we always do kind of a fabulous, I'll try and get it on camera here. Sure. We always do a fabulous um, storage box as well, because this is really what you're going to want to keep these in when you they're are, not right? on your You are, right? Don't mix oh, them up very, with your other ornaments. Nope, nope, very and much they'll all, so. And they'll, they'll be preserved? And they'll they're get protected, broken. Yeah. exactly right. So that, if you're thinking of gift giving, by the way, that is one incredible gift to give as well. Now, if you want to go to the next level, by the way, they're brand new today. Yep. Right, brand yep. new today. So these were not on the weekend, brand new. Oh no, no, they were, they were on, they were on Saturday. Okay, I just want to clarify that. Saturday, Saturday. Uh, so brand only new order, for the only season. Only order that we have for the season. If you want to go to the next level, uh, let's show another item number on uh, the ultimate way to maybe display yeah. these eggs because this, this tree is, is also available, right? The, the tree we designed for the twelve eggs, but I actually have two sets of trees. I actually bought two, so I'm actually putting a lot of my smaller ornaments just from my collection and decorating a whole tree, and then I have a tree that's loaded with the eggs as well. Yeah. So each egg is inspired by one of the Fabergé Imperial Easter eggs. Really? Fabergé designed 46 Easter Imperial Easter eggs for the Tsar, and the Tsar gave them to his wife, the Tsarina, gave them to the Dowager Empress, gave them to uh, the King of Denmark, received one. But in existent, there are 46 of the Imperial eggs. So we're taking our inspiration, for example, the, the, the red we're about to see, is the um, St. Petersburg egg, a very famous egg that's still in the Hermitage on uh, an exhibit. By the way, can we just, just focus on that egg for a second? Unbelievable. Like, look at what those pearls. Unbe like, that's amazing. Handset hand pearls. I love the crystals. I love the sh The idea of it's a matte finish enamel. And that would have been what Fabergé would have done. He would have done this, what's called en plein, which is, which is matte. And then there is, is there a, so some, what, is, what, is, what is the glitter on top? That there's there's handset glitter. It's yeah. all embellished. And we take each one, and if you look at the next egg over, sure. which which is the Romanoff egg, we're actually using a granulation. So it's got this beautiful beadwork, white enamel. If you look at the black, it actually has a shimmer on the inside. Wow. Well, you break it down to price per egg, that's pretty remarkable. They're remarkable, right? they really are remarkable. The Rococo egg, and again, I'm seeing that lit from within quality that it has <laughs> with the purple. I love the Art Nouveau idea of this beautiful pink. Oh, that's a pretty a per pink. Pearlescent pink. What, what an individual swirl. gift to some. To well, well right? you, know, you know what Joan used to do? Individual gifts. Yeah, well, Joan used to, have, at her dinner parties, there's the Chanticleer egg, the blue. She would tie two of these to the napkin at everybody's place setting Everybody at her dinner parties. Egg and you all go home with a couple of ornaments, which mm. I think is, that's the Chanticleer. I love the little pansy egg, which again is a very famous egg called the pansy egg. But again, the original was nephrite set with diamonds and platinum. Was it really? And Amazing. Was well, it remember really? Fabergé was a fine jeweler. It was platinum and diamonds and, and rare gems. Um, I love the, um, the, uh, it's the Lipinski Cathedral. Hand painted. Detail on that. Rick, that is a hand painted little scenario that's actually on three sides of the egg. So and in order to create this 
collection. All of these had to be made in, they're not yep. mass produced, you no, know, no, 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 these are individually hand, done. Hand blown glass. You know when you see somebody blowing glass through yeah. the little pipe? That's how each one of these eggs is, is made. That right. And they're hand decorated. I look at this and I think, this is the the this is the 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 ultra ornaments for your tree. This would be the ones, I always say the ones I put at eye level. Right. Because those are the nicest ones you always want everybody to see. <laughs> and then the ones that aren't so great you put up at the top. But I think that this becomes really like the best of the best on your tree. I think here, they're amazing. Here comes the gold one. Look How about gold. that gold? Is that extraordinary? I, I feel like I don't want to touch it. Well, they're, they're, I feel like but, it's seventy nine dollars a piece. Like I'm like I'm like I'm getting well, very close if, to something that's if we were if we were at valuable. that if we were at the fancy Christmas shop at Bergdorf Goodman's right? or somewhere like that. These would be twenty five dollars each. These would be thirty five dollars each because they're all hand decorated. I love the green. That's the Zarovich egg. A very again a very famous egg that Faberge did around nineteen ten. Each one has a little history, and here's a cool thing. Yeah. If you go to joanrivers.com, say you, you acquire these today, go to joanrivers.com, and I give you a little write-up about each egg, the history behind each egg. If you were gift-giving, I would print that out from joanrivers.com, and I would put it in the box, and I would give not only the eggs, but, but the that backstory. memory, the backstory, Great. the history behind it. Made a, make a fabulous gift, or just for your own kind of, you know, to know where came from what, and it's just kind of amazing. Jen. Because I've not worked with you in, in so long. I know, it's her, been her commitment to, to that attention to detail and her passion for this business on sure. QVC yep. was unsurpassed. Well, it, I, I she agree. She brought everything that she brought ever to comedy and the tonight, all she brought it all every time she was here in She QVC. only knew she was one way. She an extraordinary woman. She, she was, and she adored you, and she adored all of you, that I know as well. But pleasure to keep this heritage alive, keep the legacy going, her legacy of style and love of Fabergé, and I think they're extraordinary. Great I'm to have you nuts. Here. Nice really. to finally work with you. Yeah. Let's not make it another 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. Emmy Award winner, David Daniel. Ah, whatever. Do I need to say that every time? <laughs> sure. It's great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's 211456. Thank you, David. Thank you. All right. That was really popular, by the way. You love that. That's very cool. Uh, <laughs> Emmy Award winning David Jack. Would you mind moving your own table, David? Yeah, Emmy Award winning David. <laughs> I'm the pitch I'm the team player here. Come on. One big team. Hey, by the way, Kringle Express in the 72 piece gift bag set. Still to come, or was still available, by the way, I should say, H211800. Here in our second hour. I love the QVC2. QVC2 is fun. It's relaxed, it's kicking back, it's enjoying things. Now it's time to kick back again. With Sharon Hamby Roby and Sharon Hamby.